Hi guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So it's been a little while since I put out a shop update video and just kind of want to keep you guys uh, in the loop of where I'm at and what if, uh, what's going on here. Um, I thought I'd put another one out. But before I start the uh, update video, I do want to talk about uh, something that uh, I think is very serious, okay? Um, and uh, on, on my part, very heartfelt. So the YouTube community, uh, as I've experienced it over the last couple years, has been a group of people who have uh, been over backwards to uh, help me um, in, in ways that I never thought possible, right? I've had people donate uh, uh, tools to me and, and stock to me, and they've donated um, uh, their time to make parts for my lathe. Uh, and just a whole host of other things. I've even had people give me tools, you know, machine tools. And uh, so that's, uh, I, I find that very much a blessing. And on top of that, my subscribers and the other uh, YouTube content providers that subscribe to my channel have um, always been very supportive and helpful and suggestions and constructive criticism. And really what I want to say is that uh, everything that I've experienced uh, with YouTube has been really quite a joy. So anyway, let me uh, position the camera here and I'll show you what I've, I've done. Okay, so this is the, uh, I guess it would be northeast corner of my shop and you'll see there that I've managed to get Bertha out here and I uh, put a little shelf up there above her so that I can put some tooling and things like that uh, in, the, in, in this corner here. So we're coming along. I'm gonna pan the camera. Hopefully this uh, won't make a bunch of noise. So here I got my cheap, cheap Chinese uh, drill press uh, that was uh, given to me by a co-worker about a year or so ago. It needed a new motor and I've got that, uh, I found a motor to put on it and it's up and running and ready to go. Uh, over here you, in the very corner you see that I have my stock rack and I got a sh some shelves there with uh, some of my other tools sitting on there. And then over here uh, you see my workbench and underneath that uh, white cloth is my little surface plate, my two uh, little machinist toolbox and stuff. I'm still trying to find places uh, for those. So that's really kind of all that I've done. I've, I've gotten set up out here to, um, to uh, you know, where I can start to, uh, start back machining on, on Bertha again and I'm excited about that and I've got other things that are going to happen out here. Uh, but I really, honestly, I just want to get back to uh, making some metal chips. Uh, either right or wrong. You know, I just just want to have some fun with that. Uh, but now in the last video, remember I told you that I, I received a couple of gifts and um, I showed you the uh, Delta to Sander. So uh, let me reposition the camera here and let me show you the other one and uh, the, uh, <laughs> the interesting uh, uh, adventure that I've had with it. So I'll uh, bring you right in. So one of my YouTube uh, viewers contacted me and says, hey, I, I noticed that you don't have a metal cutting bandsaw. He says, I picked one up off of Craigslist, but I really just bought it for the motor. If you want the saw, I'll be happy to give it to you if you just pay me shipping. So I agreed to that and uh, I would tell you his name, but I don't know if he wants to remain anonymous or not. So, um, uh, but so, you know, he, he boxed this up. He took it apart and boxed it up and, and done a pretty good job. But I think UPS must have dropped it several times, right? <laughs> because the uh, bolts that are on, out on the inside of the base were all bent. You see this bolt here is horribly bent. Um, but the worst part was there's a gearbox that sits here that has a worm gear, right? That drives a, drives a, uh, a, a worm wheel that, you know, drives the blade. Well, I don't have it with me. I'll have it this afternoon and I'll post a video later. But it, uh, it broke off. And when I looked at how it broke, it looked to me like that was a cast iron casting because it was, uh, you know, it had that gray, um, uh, you know, texture uh, to it, you know, when cast iron breaks. So I took it apart and pulled the gear and everything out of it, but then got looking closer and it's actually a die casting uh, and it's pot metal. So the uh, you know that can't be brazed or anything like that I wouldn't know how to f uh, fix it like that I could I guess cast another one but it would uh, I would really have to have my milling machine in order uh, my little horizontal mill which I haven't started on and and uh, uh, but getting ready to uh, 
to, you know, to machine something that I cast up or something from something, okay? So I think what I'm going to try to do, and, and it'd be a future video, is uh, I think um, I'll uh, epoxy the pieces together, okay? Um, and maybe run a bead of, uh, of, of uh, JB Weld around it to hold it to board out to, to put a sleeve in to, to kind of fix it that way and I'll, and I'll go on that in the other video. Uh, but other than that, you know, I mean, the, 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 all the sheet metal was bent up. I mean, I don't know what they dropped it off of, man, but I tell you what, um, done a job on it. So can I salvage it? I don't know. I hope so because, uh, you know, me and Mr. Hacksaw, you know, Herschel the Hacksaw, I call him, uh, you know, he just exhausts me, you know, especially when you got a piece of one inch stock or something and you're just hacking along. So anyway, I just want to share that with you. I want to keep this video short, just give you an update. Um, so let me bring the camera back in and, and talk here just for a second. Okay, with, with uh, getting the corner of the shop in a, in a place where I can start doing some work, uh, I'm excited about that. So some of the things that I think that are coming up, I still want to make a spindle nose protector uh, for Bertha as a, as a practice exercise, you know, to help my help learn and hone my machining skills uh, and get some more uh, great tips and trips uh, tricks from you guys out there because you, uh, you help me so much. Uh, I want to build another bench like uh, the other one. I need to build a bench for the uh, uh, the Burke Number Four milling machine, little horizontal milling machine. Um, and but I also have been you know I like to watch Emma uh, she's uh, you know from Emma Spare Room uh, Machine Shop I think it's called I can't ever keep that straight anyway she uh, she built uh, the Kenneth Well steam engine and uh, I just think that thing is cool as can be and and I happen to have uh, some 20 gauge sheet metal to start and the uh, plans are available on the internet if you're interested let me know I can show you where, uh, the message forms where you can download the at least the uh, the drawings okay but I'm going to use the drawings and I'm going to use uh, Emma's videos uh, as a basis and I think I'm going to try to make one I think it, there's a lot of stuff there that I've never done and and uh, I think it's going to be interesting now I don't have any metric or BA uh, taps and dies and that sort of stuff so I think I'm just going to try to go to the nearest uh, imperial size that I can find and go from there. So anyway, I think I want to put that as a separate little series uh, on its own. And uh, but anyway, that's where we're heading. I just want to update you guys and thank you so much uh, for being uh, the wonderful, kind people that you are and uh, that you have demonstrated over and over and over. And uh, I appreciate it. And um, thank, excuse me, thank you for uh, watching my videos, uh, taking the time to comment. Uh, if you find any of them helpful, please consider liking, uh, subscribing, or sharing. Uh, if they suck, just give me a thumbs down. I get it. Um, so uh, other than that, um, have a blessed day.